What's up you guys, I'm Dan, this is Frugal Not Cheap, and today we'll talk about the launch of the Novi Wallet. So I've made a couple of videos about Facebook's foray into the cryptocurrency space. If you haven't checked out those videos, I will put links to them in the description below. But to kind of make it short, the reason I'm excited about this is of all the cryptocurrencies that I know of, this is the one that I think has the best chances of having widespread adoption just because of the very large user base that Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram uh, already have. It won't have any transactions fees for peer-to-peer -peer transfers. I do think they're going to charge some uh, merchant fees, but I imagine they'll be very competitive with uh, MasterCard and Visa. Uh, and very easy to compete, of course, with Amex because they have very huge fees. But in any case, because we have a huge potential user base and we have um, really no reason not to use it, there's no transactions costs involved, then I imagine it could take off really quickly if they're able to finally launch their DM cryptocurrency. So this was originally branded as Libra, has been renamed to DM. But anyway, on October the 19th, uh, the Novi wallet was launched by Facebook Financial. That's Novi, N-O-V-I, kind of meaning new. Um, definitely uh, distancing itself from Calibra, which is the old name for the Libra wallet. And that's what it is, is a wallet to hold um, some funds with Facebook Financial. Now, of course, you can imagine that Facebook wanted to launch both the Novi wallet and also the DM cryptocurrency at the same time. But in my last video, I noted that they might go ahead with launching the wallet first and the cryptocurrency later. That is, in fact, what they're doing. So the Novi app is available on the Play Store and also on um, the Apple Store. I went ahead and downloaded it. And when you first fire up the app, it tells you that you can send money anywhere in the world instantly and without a fee. So that, of course, is the big draw of this is for remittances. So we can send funds uh, to each other without any of those hefty currency change fees and also um, international wire transfer fees. And then, of course, one of the main things about DM and that is different from other cryptocurrencies out there is that you can't use them completely anonymously, um, even though, as we've seen in some legal cases, they've been able to track down uh, the holders of Bitcoin anyway. But in order to protect against fraud and money laundering, then they've got this uh, thing up that says, you know, protect it against fraud and that everyone who signs up for the wallet will need to verify their identity. And then again, they reiterate that they don't charge any fees, so why wouldn't you use this service? In order to create my account, I um, had to use my phone number basically as my login and create a password. And it let me know that currently, Novi is not available ever in the world. It is just a kind of a small pilot program available in the United States and in Guatemala. I went ahead and signed up for early access. First, I had to verify that I was in the United States and then tell them what state I was in. And then I had to upload a photo of my driver's license. Then I had to tell them my full legal name and also give them my birthday. And with all those details, basically the driver's license, your full name and your birthday, then I was able to verify my identity and have my account created. So I was curious. Um, how are my funds going to be held if um, they didn't have the DM cryptocurrency launched just yet? And I hope, by the way, that they will be able to launch that before the end of the year. But Facebook has been getting a lot of kickback from the Senate Banking Committee. Um, so we'll see about that. In any case, what they've decided to do is to partner with Paxos Trust Company. And so the cryptocurrency that you can hold there is called USDP, D as in David, P as in Paul, uh, also known as the Pax Dollar. And this is a one-for-one -one stable coin of the US dollar. So um, that seems pretty good. I don't really know all that much about Paxos, so I'm probably not going to use this until they launch the DM coin, because what I saw there was that they were going to do much more um, robust sort of uh, stress testing um, and a more robust framework um, against potential runs and that kind of thing. So I'm really not sure about Paxos and I'm not going to be using this service yet, but it is cool that I have the Novi wallet set up and I'm ready for the eventual launch of the DM cryptocurrency. Even with the launch of the Novi wallet, which seems pretty innocuous to me, we already got some pushback from lawmakers. A number of Democratic senators, including Elizabeth Warren, Brian Schatz, Richard Blumenthal, and Tina Smith, um, all fired back and asked them to discontinue with their pilot of Novi and also um, not to pursue the DM cryptocurrency any further either. So we'll see. I think it's very popular right now politically to be against Facebook. I personally don't 
see any harm in Facebook, I open it up, look up people's birthdays, wish them a happy birthday, maybe scroll through the feed and see if there are any actual photographs of my friends and family, and if not, then I shut it down. That's it for the day. And definitely it's not a place to get information, as we know. It's not trustworthy, plus really, does Uncle Bob really know what he's talking about in terms of like nuclear fusion or whatever? No, he doesn't know anything. So I'll be keeping an eye on any developments uh, regarding the Senate Banking Committee and the eventual launch of the DM cryptocurrency. I uh, do remain hopeful that we're going to see something at some point, uh, but for now at least we're seeing a small step with the launch of the Novi Wallet. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.